welcome to the first episode of The School News brought to you by K's Media. I'm Maya Lee. And I'm Naima Mans. We're excited to bring you the latest news, sports, and events happening right here at Kankakee High School. Join us as we dive into the exciting things your school has been up to. From academic achievements to athletic victories, we've got it all covered. Here's the news. Attendance has seen a significant jump compared to last year, rising from 72% to 84% as we near the end of the first quarter. Let's keep those numbers rising. We also have a couple of staff location updates. Mr. Bersher is now located in the freshman office and Ms. Daniels has transitioned to the remote hub. The dress code policy begins on October 21st. Please make sure to dress accordingly as it is required. As we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we're excited to share some of the incredible events and activities happening in our community. The Kankakee Train Depot hosted a vibrant celebration featuring cult- traditional dances, delicious food, and cultural performances. While our school, students, and staff have been actively participating in Hispanic Heritage Month celebrations, from informative posters to culinary delights, our school community has embraced this opportunity to learn and appreciate Hispanic culture. Our culinary students, in particular, have been showcasing their skills by creating traditional Mexican beverages like horchata and agua de jamaica. These delicious treats have been a ha- hit among staff members who have had the opportunity to sample them. As we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, keep an eye out for more exciting events and activities happening around our school. Together, we're honoring the rich contributions of the Hispanic community. And now, let's turn our attention over to the KHSN scoreboard. Welcome to the scoreboard. I'm Xander Grill with your Kankakee Sports Update. The girls' tennis team proved their dominance by defeating conference rival Bloom. They also competed at the All-City Championship, showcasing their skills on the court. Our cross-country teams crushed it at the 39th annual Hersher Invite. Both the boys' and the girls' teams dominated the competition. An incredible seven out of nine boys set personal records, and every single girl on the team did the same. The varsity girls' volleyball team is also making waves, boasting an 11-on-11 record overall and a solid 6-on-1 conference record, placing them at second in the conference. The K's golf team absolutely dominated the conference tournament at Oak Springs, securing the championship with a team score of 322. Girls' swim continued their strong performance with a second-place finish at the Homewood Flossmore Invite. The varsity boys' soccer team has also been in a competitive back and forth this season with an eight and eight record and a four and two conference mark. They've showed resilience and skill on the field. The Kankakee K's football team continues their winning streak, dominating the field with a five and one record. They're now three and zero in conference after defeating the Rich Township Raptors last Friday in a blowout 58 to six. Make sure to tune in to support the team for this Saturday's game. As we continue to follow the progress of our Kankakee K's athletes, We're excited to see what they'll accomplish in the weeks to come. That's this week's KHS scoreboard. Back to you guys. Thanks, Xander. As we wind down from homecoming week, let's reflect on his fun activities. From using crazy bags to dynamic duos, we had a blast. The pep rally had the skull on their toes, with friendly competitions from tug of war to blow up costume races. It ended with a win from the junior class against the staff in a winner-takes-all volleyball game. We also had our annual homecoming parade down Court Street. Students and families from across the district came out to support our school. The parades boasted our staff and students through clubs and athletics. The parade wrapped up at the Train Depot celebration, where we were able to recognize the accomplishments of all our fall sports. That's all for this episode of School's News. Brought to you by K's Media. Thanks for watching. Remember to stay tuned for our news, updates, and events from Kankakee High School. Go Go Kays!